plus sized fashionista <laughs> hauls, makeup tutorials, block journey. Mm hmm. Yep, that's me. Follow him for six. Stay tuned, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is your plus size fashionista. This video is your drugstore diva. And basically, um, I found this product from my sister's baby in particular. She just a bomb. I'm gonna put her channel in the drop down. And she's just phenomenal, y'all. But anyways, y'all already know that she's the bomb. But um, she hipped us to this um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful foundation. It's Rumble London Mass Perfection Foundation. And I got the same one she got. And it's in um, Warm Caramel, Caramel, whatever you want to call it. And I found this at um, Walmart. Same place she got hers at. And it's going to run you $7. Which this is, that's not a lot. And I love it so much. It's the bomb. I've been using it ever since I got it. And the first thing that I noticed about it is... It's a lot of product, even though it does look like a little container. It's a lot of product. First thing I noticed when I open it, the smell is the bomb. It smells like perfume was up in here. That's the first thing I noticed. Like it has a floral scent. Like I went somewhere and somebody was like, oh my God, your makeup is pretty. And they was like, you smell really good. I'm like, thank you. I didn't say it. It's my, you know, my foundation. But yeah, it smells really good, y'all. And um, it's very good consistency. That's what it looks like. And basically what this foundation is, basically it's a smart technology. What that means is when you put it on your skin, it's going to mimic your skin tone or your complexion per se. So it's going to mimic your, like see, I just put it right here. See look, it mimics, it mimics it basically. It mimics your skin tone to match it like to a T and it does. It does. So this is a great find. And thank you so much, baby. Pick the 23. Thank you, sis. I love it. I love it. I love it. I will be picking up some more of this song because I like this. I have a lot of foundations as you guys know but this one is right on the money. I have a lot and I am a a makeup junkie. Y'all know that. But I have to say, this is since I just got it, I've been using it for maybe about a couple days to a week. And I will say, this is my favorite. I will say that. I know that's early on saying it, but I've been using it like every day I got it. And this is my. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I will say, this is my favorite because it mimics, I mean, it has that flawless look. And I mean, it don't even look like you got no makeup on. I mean, you do have makeup on, but it don't look like you do. With most, you know, foundations, it look like it. And two, it's your technique, how you blend it and apply it to your skin as well. You don't want no streakiness. You don't want that because you can tell you look like a mannequin. And we do not want that, ladies. I'm so tired of seeing ladies out there, you know, everything together, hair done, nails done, nice outfit, everything on point. But when you see that makeup, one color on the face. And then from the ears on back and the neck on down, a different color. When you put your makeup on, you're supposed to blend down. You're supposed to blend up. What I do is I take my makeup and take it all the way back. I even take it so far back, I take it to my hairline right here too because you do not want it streaky. You don't want it blotchy. That's what we call blotchy. You don't want that. I'm so tired of seeing that. So that is a public service announcement. Ladies, Step your game up with your makeup because don't no man want to mess with you. Talk to a female. You looking nice. Nice visual. But your makeup looking like Scary Kruger. Freddy Krueger. No. But I recommend this. You can find this at Walmart. I believe you can find it. Walgreens, CVS, other drugstore chains. But I always go to Walmart. You know the Walmart by my house is just a ghetto mess. But that's another story. But yeah, I will begin some more of this. This, this I have to say this is my favorite. And I on my list, I'm gonna try Fit Me. Maybelline Fit Me and I wanna try um Maybelline 24 Hour. 
yet, so I will be copping those just to try. Because I like to try stuff, you know, I have so much, like I said, but yeah. I'm remembering, remembering, four minutes on just this, I'm sorry. Okay, um, you guys remember I had told y'all that I went to CVS, and you know, they still have some of their products, um, I think 75% off, because they're trying to get rid of stuff, put new stuff out there. And I like this compact. And this is um new complexion. One step compact makeup. I really do not like this. I don't know. I don't think it's my blending technique. I think the it's too light for me. It's I think it's really too light for me. It's really creamy. I like that. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I'm not blending it right, but this is what it looks like right there. It looks too white, and I don't like makeup like that. I like makeup to look flawless as possible, to be matching my skin. Maybe I wasn't blending it right, but this, I think I will use this as um, concealer when I do my brows, when I conceal under my eyes and other areas like that because I'm the type of person I do not like to waste nothing and especially money that can go on something else so I will be using this trust and believe I'm not going to let it waste but I will use this as concealer so it won't go to waste that bad um, but if you see this and if you're my complexion I got warm beige on set and I don't know I think I have to play with it more but until I get it to hitting the nail on the head I will be using this as um, a concealer I got this at Walmart and this from NYC y'all know I love NYC oh my god I got this for like two dollars and this is cheap glow and it's West Side Wine and I love their products because you get a bang for your book let's watch it for y'all this what it looks like if I can Get it. Okay. I probably can't see it, but it's right here. It's like a wine, like a peachy wine kind of a color, and I like it. I've been using it. I used it maybe about four or five times, and I, I really like it. NYC products never disappoint me. That's one thing about them. I have a multitude of different products. If it's, you know, foundation or it's um, the translucent powder or the, the um, eyebrow slash lip pencils or, you know, the liquid liners. All their, I love their products. They never disappoint me. They never fail me. They never, never fail me. I love their products. Only place I've seen that carries NYC is at Walmart. Now, y'all can tell me to drop down who else, but that's the only place I know that carry is Walmart. So yeah, y'all try these products if you find them in your local, you know, Walmart, you know, CVS. You know, I give them a thumbs up, but you just have to work with it for your skin and make sure you know what I'm saying. You're applying it correctly. So I'm so tired of women. Applying in, you know, blush and looking like Krusty the Clown. That's not cute, y'all. You looking like Homie the Clown. That's not. That's not sexy. If I was a man, I wouldn't try to talk to no woman. You looking a hot ass mess. That's not cute, ladies. Especially spring, summertime is coming up really soon. You need to tighten that ass up and get your makeup game together. Cause I'm so tired of seeing women out here makeup looking crazy. I'm not saying I'm a professional, but I will be soon. But, you know, I never step out with my makeup looking crazy. Now, I'm not saying I always have my makeup done, so I'm not going to lie to y'all. There's some days where I don't have my makeup done, but I bet you, I bet your ass, I will at least, if I don't have, you know, the full look like I do right now, I maybe have, you know, my mocha glow on my face just to give me a little, a little oomph. And maybe a little cat eye or something like that. And maybe a little tiny bit of blush. Just, you know, if I really don't want to do a full out face. But I tell you, I will leave out the house with something. Because I am a freelance makeup artist. And that's just like, you know, I don't have no makeup on. And I'm just saying, oh, I'm a makeup artist. Somebody, they're gonna, everybody's going to like, 
you look like a hot ass mess, but you say you do makeup, yeah, right. So you gotta be a walking billboard, and that's what I am. So yeah, you guys, you in Kansas City, Missouri? Get at me, get at me. Um, I put my information in the drop down, my email and stuff. So if you want me to, you know, do your makeup for prom or anything like that, I will put my email, which is makeupbysandra at gmail.com. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it for my Adrixer Diva review. And your plus size fashion sign out. Bye.